Hi everyone, in this tutorial I want to teach you about the incredible AI smart cutout feature in Filmora. And so, for example, let's say that I want to make a plane disappear, or almost disappear. I'm going to drag this over, and I'm going to try to take this plane out, but I'm going to start it around here to do so. So from here to the rest of the video, I'm going to take the plane out the best I can. And the reason why I cut it here is because if you have a background like the sky, it makes it easier than if there's trees or wires in the way. But let's just start. So I'm going to double click this. I'm going to go to video, I'm going to go to AI tools, and then smart cutout. I'm going to turn that on and then I'm going to click here and I want to cut out the plane so I just go like that and it kind of it automatically does that for me but just to be a bit precise now I could increase it if I want I could change the brush size here and let's say that I want to erase some parts here I could do that or suppose I just want um, the front of the fuselage scene okay or I could undo you have two other variables, edge thickness and edge feather. This is what edge thickness does. Okay, and also edge feather helps with blurring it, just so that it could be smoother, it could blur into the background. And if you want to brush out more things, you could just click this again and just brush it out. You could also change the color if you want. And once you feel confident that you brushed out everything that you want out of your video, you could click to start the smart cutout or you could go to advanced mode and do the same thing. You could start the tracking here. What I like to do is this one, track forward and reverse. Although you have the option to like just track forward, track forward one section and likewise with reverse. And then that's going to take this all the way to the end here. So let's click that. And now it's tracking so let's just give it time. Okay, and now it's all done. And if you also go back here and drag this all the way over, you could see frame by frame that the entire jet is still brushed out. And also, every frame you could still add or take away, depending. And you still have these three variables to help you out over here. And that's just in case, suppose this part of the wing, for whatever reason, not brushed out, you could just brush it out with all of those frames. Another thing is suppose you started here and then you brushed out the airplane well when you click forward it's going to track this entire section forward and just that section but not reverse and likewise if you pressed one of these two for a reverse. However if you were to brush out the plane here and then press track forward and reverse it would first track this and then automatically it would track backward now, what we actually did was not actually remove the plane. This is actually what we really did. Yep, we blacked out everything else except for the plane. So we could fix that by re-clicking here and inverting the mask. All right, and now there's a couple of methods that I found. One was just using the snippet tool or some form of screenshot and just taking the surrounding color of the sky and then saving it, re-uploading it, and using that to take out the shadow. Or you could do this, an alternative method that I found, and that's by moving this one track up. And then I'm just going to bring the original video down. And I'm going to mute it, and then I'm just going to stretch this out so that the same piece of the video is below the other. But the reason why I did this is so that I could take some of the sky. So I'm going to press the crop button and I'm just going to crop it somewhere around the plane. It may not look exactly perfect, but at least I have roughly the same color of the sky that would be around the plane. So let's apply it and see what happens. But that's the gist of how Smart Cutout works. And again, you could 
also re-click here open that up and you can make adjustments if needed like if there's some parts like right here that needs to be brushed away you could do so and you could do so frame by frame and this may be the tedious part but it's however you want however it looks good to you regardless it's amazing technology and I hope that was helpful if you would like to try Wondershare yourself, I'm leaving a link to their website in the description below. And there you could download a free version. And if you like it, you could purchase it.